I'm Catherine Motian. I work with Afi Africa. Uh, it's a CBO based in Arrow County. We focus more on maternal health, sexual reproductive health. We do advocacy on ending FGM, child marriage, child education, and also we do um, leadership and governance. We focus more on the adolescents and the young people and also women. Afi Africa hosts a network of young people. It's called the Narok Youth SRH Network. Uh, it's a collaboration of different CSOs of young people that also work towards advocacy on sexual productive health among adolescents and youth. We started way back in 2018. We went through a training which was being supported by Meta Kenya. It was more on budget advocacy, planning, on uh, health commodities. And from there we saw that when we look at our health facilities, most of the services were not being offered and especially for the women, they want to go and access family planning commodities they couldn't access or maybe you need uh, therapy sessions or maybe just need to walk in and just ask for, for some questions, you couldn't do that. So we decided to form the network and amplify our voices as young people and also push for budget allocation towards health issues. Talking about family planning in Narok is an issue because one thing we are deeply rooted in our culture, especially for we women and girls, we're being perceived as young people, like we're being perceived as children. So you cannot even have a sitting with boys or men or elderly to talk about like we need to, we need to have, I mean we need to advocate for usage of family planning. For us they perceive it as a taboo. There are, so many, there are so many myths that are associated to it. If you use family planning, you'll end up being barren. Uh, you'll end up, as in there's so many taboos associated to it. It's not biblical, because we also face, we also face uh, forces from the clergy. So going to the community and talking to them about it, it's become a big challenge. We don't have youth-friendly services in Arrow County, where, where, where by young people can walk in freely and access information, commodities. Uh, if young people go to hospital and maybe I'm, I'm the age of maybe below 18, you go there, you meet a nurse and you're like, I want to access these services. Some are being abused, some are even HIV positive, and you're like, you need to go and access uh, the ARVs or maybe the services. You go there and you, the person who is attending to you start questioning how comes you, how comes you got this and all that. It's happening. Religious leaders believe people are not supposed to use family planning. It's not biblical, it's very wrong. So what they advocate is abstinence. Government, they only distribute at the condoms. For now, the, what people are able to access is the P2 and the condoms. CSOs are really doing a good job because they go to the community to do sensitization and the kind of sensitization we are doing is the community dialogue whereby we don't go and impose things to the, to the community. We, we look for an entry point. Maybe if their issue is water, you go discuss how are we going to come up with water and then again what are the, some of the challenges you are also facing. You know, we look for an entry point to go with them. 